Welcome back. 4.31, 7.30 a.m., 102.9 FM, WTNT. Andy Parks, live from the Washington Times. And on this Friday, I welcome to the program the person I welcome every day at this time, actually, uh, Catherine Temp, editor of Times247.com. Hello. Hello. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Although, you know what? Everyone's coughing around here. I'm kind of nervous. Everyone's sick. You know, I noticed that there was a whole lot of that going on. You think there's something in the building? Somebody asked me to feel their forehead. Oh, really? I was like, absolutely not. That's no, disgusting. you don't do that. That's disgusting. No, I'm yeah. going to feel someone else's germy forehead. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> was it Ann? No. Oh, okay. Ann's sweating, cough- sweating out all kinds of pathogens. Yeah. Yeah. You were coughing earlier today. She said everybody in the building's coughing. Are you sick? No, okay. She, she's okay. All right. I'm just having some random coughing fit. I blame the environment in here. I don't know. Okay, everyone's oh, coughing see, everyone and sneezing and sore throat. Oh, and... I smell a lawsuit coming on. I... Oh, well, that's just me. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> Getting a little worried. Yeah. All right, uh, did you get the car back? Yes, I did. Yeah. And you know what happened? What? Um, they messed up the engine. And what? They're fixing it. How yes. do you mess up the engine when you're doing the body work? I, exactly. But on my way home, it overheated. Oh, so no. this morning, I had to ride in a tow truck to go get it fixed again. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, what was the excuse? What did they say? Uh, well, we went to the dealership. We didn't go back to that place. So oh, didn't really? Didn't anything. So yeah. now you're going to have to pay for that. No, that was free. Because oh, my, my car doesn't even have 30,000 miles on it yet. Oh, wow. So, I mean, it, it, there's no way that I would be having any engine trouble. Yeah, you know, it sounds like they forgot to put water back they in did. They, they took That's the exactly what they did. They did? They, they, they forgot to, like, drain it all out or do something to well, it. Well, that's dangerous. I mean, yeah. that can, that can I, really I cost you My car could have blown up. Yeah, exactly. It came very close to blowing up. <sighs> i, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm ready to sue over that, too. You know, know, just for bystander trauma. Yeah. You know, I've been privy to that story now. Oh, my goodness. It's upsetting to me. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's cash in on this. Wake up oh, early Never tonight. mind. I'm just teasing. All right. Uh, well, listen, I'm glad you got your car back. Hopefully, uh, you'll get it back again, and it'll be in better shape than oh, it no, was. Oh, no, I fixed it. It's back now. Oh, you already yeah. have it back? Yep. Oh, they mm-hmm. took care of it right yeah. away then. Yep. They did put, like, new antifreeze in. Yeah, whatever stupid thing that they should have done in the first place. Okay, I got you. All right, well, uh, you're too upset to give me a report. <laughs> no. going on, I'm sure. Hi, what are we working on? Um, the AFL-CIO president, uh, good old Trumka, he <laughs> yeah. said that he blamed Bain-style Bain ventures for clo- closing the ho- or hostess shutting down. Oh, please. So it's, it's Romney's fault. <laughs> They're still, they still fault. blaming them. They're still blaming Bain you know, for the no here's, Twinkies. Here's the problem with that. And, and if you really analyze what happened with hostess, it's pretty simple. They had high labor cost. They had... Lower shelf space. They didn't get the mm-hmm. shelf space they used to because most of what they manufacture is no longer labeled healthy food. Right. Not that it ever was. Right. But it's labeled more unhealthy than ever before. And so they weren't selling the product. Mm-hmm. And so if you have high labor cost, you got 18,500 employees, 5,000 of them are standing out on the, on the picket line, won't come back to work. Guess what? It's over. And the union's going to blame Mitt Romney. That's right. fantastic. That's, it, it's, <laughs> I, I, it doesn't make any sense. I, it, uh, no, it does to them. He just said it, too. He didn't ex- really necessarily uh, no. explain Trump, what the Trump is talking. an idiot. Yeah, he he's really an idiot. Is. All right, uh, what else? Uh, uh, Australia is considering requiring a smoker's license for cigarettes. You know, I just talked about that. Yeah. They're, yeah, they want a smart card or something. Yeah, yeah, you have to apply and pay for the license and show it when you buy cigarettes. Yeah. Not your license, a specific smoker's license. And then it allows the government to eliminate how many you can buy. Yeah. Oh, I know. I don't get it. I know. Look forward to coming here. I'm telling Stupid. you. Look forward to oh, coming here. Oh, I, sooner rather than later. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, what else? Ta- the Taliban spokesman accidentally revealed the email list. He accidentally forwarded out like 400 email addresses of people that were getting these Taliban emails. He forgot, oh, to, no he forgot to do the blind So he hit the... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reply to all. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. Oops. <laughs> so now we got uh, we got 400 terrorists, roughly? Yeah. Oh, that's 400 fantastic. terrorists. Uh, or everyone terrorists from journalists wannabes, right. and yeah. professors. Hey, and we don't get that, uh, do we? Because I know we get stuff from Obama. So I didn't know if you had like, signed up for You never know. I, I don't know if I saw AWOG on there. <laughs> see that. <laughs> <laughs> Taliban list. Let's yeah. see. Eh, oh, go. Mm-hmm. Yes, all right. All right, what else? Uh, California is tops the national poverty rankings list. Yeah, I, I saw that earlier today. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that 
is no surprise, actually. No, not at all. That not. was once like the richest place in the world. You know? Yeah, but I mean, it's just it's businesses are just fleeing the state. Yeah. There's just well, no wonder. The t- more and the you know more and more and more taxes. Yeah. You know? Sure. It's regulation. Sure. I know people that left there actually to move east because the price of housing was so high. Now, granted, it's come down as a result of uh, the recession and all. But at one point, they would. They would buy a, people would buy a home out there, live out there, work out there for a while, sell the home, take the money out of the home, and come east where they could buy twice the home for half the money, and it was almost a game that they played. You know, yeah. and today you, know, you can't do that at all. I mean, the state's literally coming apart at the seams. You know, literally, yeah. And uh, Jerry Brown is not helping matters, and of course they just voted for a tax hike. Yeah, you know, I, wrote I, just, a, I don't get that. And I'll bet about that actually. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, anything else on the list? Or are you done for the Basically, day? Basically, just a lot, a lot of more Petraeus things like that. Okay. You know, lawmakers saying that he doesn't know who changed the yeah, talking points yeah, and all that kind of stuff. Following that story. So. Okay. All right. Well, listen. Uh, good luck with the car. Hope everything works <laughs> out for you. Doesn't blow uh, up on my way to Virginia tonight. Are oh, you going to Virginia? Yeah, huh? a comedy show. Yeah. You've got a comedy show? Yeah, there? in Lorton. Is it like the Workhorse Theater, yeah. It's like open to the public? Yeah. People can just like yeah. walk in? And... you got to buy a ticket. Well, yeah, but, <laughs> but they can see you on stage? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just opening, but yeah. You are? What time? Eight. Eight o'clock? Eight where, o'clock. Is, where is that? Lorton. So Lorton, I have to drive my car out there, so that's what I was worried I was nothing I was yeah. worried about when I thought my engine was. Lorton is beautiful this time of year. You know, you used to have a prison down there. And, I, have, uh, I know nothing about a it. Landfill. they got a great landfill oh, really? in Lorton. Ugh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Great. What's the name of the place? The Workhorse Theater, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is it in a prison? No, no, no. No, no, no not anymore. They moved it. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right. Have fun. Have a good what weekend. I'm getting myself into. <laughs> See you later. Yep. Catherine Temp, times 247.com, right here at WTNT. 437, back with Stephen Dinan in just a minute. <laughs> 